This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create hyperlinks in a PDF document using Adobe Acrobat DC. I'll be using the Pro version. I don't think you could do this in the regular version of Acrobat. Let me jump over to Adobe Acrobat here where you see I have a uh, example PDF opened up here. And I'm going to show you how to hyperlink an email address, how to hyperlink text to a website, and how to hyperlink an image to a website. Hyperlinking an image and hyperlinking text are very similar. Uh, first thing I like to do if you're hyperlinking something is first thing you need to do is click on Edit PDF and then I will highlight the text that I want to hyperlink. I want to hyperlink this email address to my email address. This is actually my backup email address I have here. Uh, first thing I like to do, go over to the right hand side to where you see the uh, color, the fr font color, and I'll click on it and I like to change it to kind of a dark shade of blue to kind of signify that it's a clickable link. Now I will click off of it. I'll go up and I'll click on link in the uh, tabs up top. I'll click on link then I will click on the very top one, Add Edit Web Document Link. And now what you want to do is draw a rectangle around your text here. The rectangle is actually what's clickable. So anything, within, anything inside of that rectangle is clickable. I'm going to let go of my mouse cursor here. And now in this dialog box that opens up, the way I have it set, I want my rectangle to be invisible, link type, invisible rectangle. I want the highlight style to be outline. The rest of these options are not, uh, are not on because I have invisible rectangle. And then in the link action, I want it set to open a web page. Then I'll click on next. Now when you're hyperlinking a mail address, I, you know, I want to set it to where when I click, when somebody clicks on that, it will open up their mail app to my email address. First thing you need to do is type mail to all lower, all lowercase and then a colon and then the email address that you want it linked to. There's no spaces in here, it's all one thing. And then click on OK. Now I'm going to go to my selection tool to where I get off the link tool here. Click on the selection tool. Now when I click, if see when I put my mouse cursor over it, sa it says that it's mail to and the email, email address. If I click on it, it brings up my mail app. And now see the, the two parts already made out to that email address. I'm going to close this here. The way that you email, or the way that you hyperlink text, say I wanted to hyperlink this uh, website here to the google.com website. What you'll do is kind of the same process. First thing I'll do is go up and I'll click on the edit tab. And then I will highlight the text. This is just something I like to do. And I will change off to the pane in the right hand side. I'll change the font color to a dark shade of blue. Then I will click off of it. I will click on the uh, link drop down up here at the top, the top tab link. I'll click the very top one, add edit web document link. I'll draw a rectangle around that text that I want to hyperlink. I'll leave the uh, link type to invisible rectangle. That way you can't see the rectangle. Highlight style, outline. Make sure that link action is uh, set to open a web page. Click on next. And now you'll enter the URL of, the, uh, of what you want to hyperlink it to. I'm going to hyperlink it to google.com. I'll click on OK. 
Now I'll click on my selection tool so that I'm off of uh, the link tool. And now when I click on, as you can see, the, uh, it says it's linked to uh, google.com. As I move my mouse cursor over it, my mouse cursor changes. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and it opens google.com. And now to hyperlink an image, it's the exact same process. What you'll do is you'll go up to uh, the link uh, drop down, click on add, edit, web, or document link, very top one. Then you'll draw a uh, rectangle around the image that you want to uh, hyperlink. Anything within this rectangle, or it could be if it's a square, you could draw a square, you just want to cover your image. In the link appearance, the link type is set to invisible rectangle, highlight style set to outline. The link action, make sure it's set to open a web page. Click on next. I'm going to go ahead and link this to google.com too. I'm just going to paste it in there, the URL. I'm going to click on OK. Then I will click on my selection tool to come off my link tool. Now if I click on the image, as you can see when I put my mouse cursor over it, you can see the uh, web address appears there. If I click on it, it opens google.com. But that's how you hyperlink emails, text, and pictures in Adobe Acrobat Pro. Thanks for watching.